Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm the owner of SeasonAndServeBlog.com. Today we are making the easiest chicken wing recipe ever, lemon pepper chicken wings. All you need is just five ingredients and about half an hour and you have a delicious meal ready in no time. These wings have a great combination of spice, salt, and acidity which makes these wings really delicious. So if you want to see how I make my lemon pepper chicken wings, just keep on watching. To make my lemon pepper chicken wings, you'll just need five ingredients. So first we'll need a lemon, pepper, salt, chicken wings, and some avocado oil as well. To begin, we'll prepare our seasoning. So I'm adding some whole black peppercorns into a mortar and pestle, and I'm just gonna grind them up. I like to use whole peppercorns in this recipe because they have a better flavor than already ground pepper. When adding them to a mortar and pestle, it is easier to kind of bash the peppercorns a bit until you can get them a little bit smaller and then it's easier to grind them together. Next, we'll add in our salt and this will help grind up the peppercorns a little bit more. I don't like to grind it totally smooth. I do like a mixture of powder and some larger chunks of peppercorns. So this is what it should look like in the end. Once the salt and pepper has been ground together, I'm just gonna scoop it out and reserve it in a small bowl off to the side for later. Next up, we'll prepare our chicken wings. And in this recipe, I am using the drumette portion of the wing, but if you do like the winglet portion, you can use that instead. So I'm adding my drumettes to a large mixing bowl, and then I'm drizzling over a little bit of avocado oil. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle half of the salt and pepper mixture over all of the chicken wings and give everything a good stir to combine. Once everything is combined, we're gonna set our chicken wings aside and we'll get ready to bake them. We are gonna bake these chicken wings in the oven, so I'm preheating it to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're actually gonna bake these on a rack, so I layer a baking tray with some parchment paper and then add an oven safe rack on top of it. To make sure the chicken wings don't stick, I'm gonna brush the rack with a little bit more avocado oil. I really like cooking these chicken wings on this rack because the heat can get all the way around the wing and cook it really evenly and it gets nice and crispy as well. Of course, if you don't have an oven rack like this, you can also just lay the chicken wings directly onto the parchment paper as well. And then next we'll add our chicken wings onto the rack and I am adding my chicken wings skin side up. You'll notice on each chicken wing they'll have a side covered in skin and the other side will just be meat. And you want to add it skin side up so that as it cooks the fat will sort of render down and coat the whole chicken wing and keep it nice and juicy. Once you have all your chicken wings arranged skin side up, we're gonna take it over to the oven and bake it at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 minutes. While the chicken wings are baking, we are gonna zest our lemon and make sure you wash your lemon really well since we will be using the zest and I am using a microplane and I'm just making sure to get the skin of the lemon, not that white pith or else it'll be really bitter. After 35 minutes, I like to move the chicken wings up under the broiler and broil them for about one to two minutes just so that the skin gets nice and crispy. This is an additional step, but it is totally worth it. Once your chicken wings are golden brown and crispy, we're gonna remove them from the oven and let them cool for a minute before finishing them off. While the chicken wings are still warm, I'm gonna add them to a large mixing bowl along with the lemon zest and the remaining salt and pepper mixture. Then just simply toss your chicken wings in the lemon zest and the salt and pepper, and you are done. These chicken wings are ready to serve. To plate up these chicken wings, I like to add them to a large serving platter and then top it off with a little bit more of the pepper mixture and the lemon zest that's found in the bottom of the bowl, along with some freshly chopped parsley for a little bit more color and some freshness. I also like to garnish this dish with a few lemon wedges because it looks beautiful and it tastes really good with a little bit of lemon juice squeezed right over before serving. 
And there you have it, my recipe for lemon pepper chicken wings. You can enjoy this meal in about half an hour on any night of the week and in any season of the year. Don't forget you can find this full recipe on my blog and the link to that will be in the description box below. And while you're there, sign up for my emailing list to get notified every time I post a brand new recipe. Also make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below if you enjoy these food videos. And also don't forget to check me out on Instagram as well for more recipe ideas and inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.